supporters, Councilman David Greenfield, who said publicly that if elected, you would, quote, target Jews. And I want to give you a chance to respond to that. That is an outright lie. I intend to treat every community equally and fairly. I intend to make sure that there's one standard of justice in Brooklyn for all. And I know that the DA is looking at my growing campaign and seeing that it's getting stronger by the day. And that's why I was endorsed today by Congressman Gerald Nadler and Congresswoman Nadia Velasquez. And he apparently is at the point of desperation because he stood with his political ally and engaged in fear mongering the other day. And now, as the top prosecutor in Brooklyn, he has an obligation to protect communities, not divide them. And when Councilman Greenfield stood out there and made those divisive comments, he had an obligation to speak up, but he didn't. He just stood there and did not open his mouth. Now, he did that because it was in his political interest to do that. And what was shameful about that is we are just days away from the 50th year anniversary of the March on Washington during the Civil Rights Movement when black people and Jewish people stood shoulder to shoulder and called on this country to stand up to his to, to yeah, back his just, declaration about all people being treated equally. <coughs> he didn't do that. Let's, let's you know, be fair. We'll David, David Greenfield said that he was at two meetings and at one meeting Mr. Thompson said he would be very aggressive prosecuting Jews and another one he said he would be he would be very, very careful about uh, not, not putting them uh, in, a, in a different light than they should be. I deliver fair justice for the county of Kent. That's why I've been elected and re-elected so many times. Uh, I have great respect for, for David Greenfield, and if he said that's what he's heard, then I'd have to... Well, let me ask you about the, the, the background to the question, which is that, you know, should there ever have been a time when ultra-Orthodox defendants would have their names kept uh, confidential? Oh, absolutely. It was a successful program. I've had, I have 118 people who have been indicted by, by our grand jury. Before that, uh, and, and what, that wasn't the main thrust of our program. To go back to the, uh, the Colson Act program, the main thrust was working with three social service agencies that were respected, Med Council, OHEL, the, uh, the Jewish Board for Family and Children's Services, and we devised a program that the main thrust of which was we would use their um, vast uh, uh, communication network, their emails, their, their newsletters, their, their phone bank, to encourage people not to go to the local police station, but to come directly to our office and, and to call our hotline, which was, was uh, staffed by and is staffed by, by a, uh, an orthodox social worker. That has resulted in a great breakthrough. We have finally breached the wall of secrecy. 118 prosecutors. You've got to understand <coughs> that in Orange County, Rockland County, northern suburbs, and Dade County and LA County, with a significant number of orthodox Jews, they have had the same problem I have for the first 19 years. We have breached that, that uh, wall of secrecy, and we're now on to a point where, for example, the Crown Heights uh, Religious Court urged people to go directly to secular authority. We, we have turned the corner on this because of our leadership. Carol, if Councilman Greenfield said he was in a meeting when I made any such comments, he is lying. I've never met the man before in my life. Now, we know what... D.A. Hines has said about the Orthodox community. He said that that community is worse than the Mafia. He said that the patrols in Crown Heights, he compared them to the Crips and the Bloods and said they were like vigilantes. The sitting D.A. of Brooklyn should not speak like that, just like he should not have stood silent ne next to Councilman Greenfield when they were engaging in fear-mongering. And we know what happened last week with, to that Jackie Robinson statue in Coney Island. It was defaced with SWAT stickers, and racial slurs. So he has an obligation as the top prosecutor to keep us together, and he's willing to taint our collective history just to get votes. That's why Brooklyn needs a new DA. I'm going to give you each um, one minute, yeah, and I know it's going to be hard to do in one minute, but I know you can do it. Um, tell us